What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody and Sage with you today, and we're doing another financial breakdown. This has been a highly requested one after we did the first one. We're going to dive right back into it. Part two, 2022 Donruss, Hobby, Downtown Hunting, Sage, how'd we do? Well, let's find out. First, let's figure out how much we spent on the box. $289 for this one. When mm. And you explained this in the beginning of the video. Maybe this is a good point to pause and say, if you haven't seen the opening of this video, call. go back and yes. watch it. You'll find it. Downtown Hunting Part 2, 2022. You explained this uh, amazingly in the beginning of the video, but it initially came out at $150 and now it's reselling at 240 or it was no. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. It comes out at 150 It immediately jacks up to 240. And now over the last couple mm -hmm. of years, it's at 289. Okay. So one of the things that I was thinking about is if this is going to be the pattern, maybe we should just start investing in sealed boxes and start collecting up sealed boxes and not opening it. Cause it seems like easy money, but what are your thoughts um, on that? Yeah, I, ever, I, I ever wonder, does it ever not work? Yeah, I don't and know. I guess sometimes, right? You could uh, you could buy something for three fifty, and then it's just a dud, and now you have a bunch of them, and they're only at two fifty. Yeah. I will say this though, I have learned, you know, being very new in sports cards, I have learned there's tons of different ways that people uh, collect cards or try to make money in this business. The one, the only way, the only way right now that I don't love are the people that go to retail stores, buy all the product up to then just sell them. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I think that's, to me, that's different than buying a case of these hobby boxes and holding on to them and not opening them and then selling them later. Yeah. I feel like those two things are very different. And I, I, I don't know. I, I would love to see maybe some, and I don't know if Walmart or Target would ever do this, but I would love to see some sort of like limit. Yeah, I think in, where, the, in the past they did have some limits, but uh, yeah, I thought- it's hard, it's hard to obviously like control that, but I, you know, you, you saw the Starbucks Stanley Cups, you could only get one, Yeah, you know? So people would wait in line for an hour, get one, and then the, they bounce. And it's like, I don't know. I think that a lot of times, if you're, if you're staying in line, to get a Stanley cup that you can flip for let's say a hundred dollars, you're probably way less likely to do that for a couple hours than if you're standing in, or if you're staying in line to buy 10 of them to flip for a thousand dollars, more people are willing to do that. So that's but, me on my soapbox. I would love to know your guys' comments down below. Let me know. Is that something that's just par for the course and I just have to deal with it? Or is that something that everyone is just not really a huge fan of? Yeah, I will say that. Walmart doesn't benefit from limiting customers because they make the same they sales. Don't. It's just more yeah. admin, more employees monitoring it, more stuff. Yeah. So there's nothing really in it for them. So I don't know. Maybe they just need to price it higher a little bit, which is also sucks for everybody. But yeah, I don't know. There's no real good fix. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Uh, the quiz. You haven't seen these slides. So for the viewers mm -hmm. at home. I wanted to ask you, what do you think? We were hunting for downtowns in this series, in this box, particularly yes. hunting for downtowns. What do you think is the most expensive downtown that we could have gotten? And here are some options. The answer may or may not be on the screen, but what did you, what was the perfect downtown we could have hit? I mean, looking at what you have here uh, from the quarterbacks, I think the no brainer here is Brock Purdy. Yeah. And then the non-quarterback, I would say, uh, gosh, ooh, uh, Wilson maybe for the non-QBs. I don't know if you if you had that number too, but maybe Garrett Wilson. Yeah. Well, I did some research, and the answer is not these guys. Did you guess these guys? I was predicting you were going to guess some of these guys. Oh, uh, Tom Brady. He was Justin. See, I don't really know who all has him and what year. Yeah. Tom Brady would have, I would have guessed Tom Brady would be Super up Super Bowl downtown. Anyways. Wait, uh, Tom Brady has two of them in that? He, yeah. He's two the, different kinds? Yeah, I think um, one's a Super Bowl. Wow. And one's a regular. Yeah, one's, one, one's Patriots and one's a Buccaneers. That's yeah. crazy. Both in 2022 Domino's. Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, I guess they had some right. Super Bowl ones. Anyways, yeah. um, this was a silly one. I didn't know about this one. But no. this was the highest selling downtown that I saw. So we were actually no. hunting Santa? for Santa. <laughs> Did you, have you ever heard of this car? No. no. Yeah. That's sick, though. I got to show this to Kelsey. Kelsey loves downtown. Yeah. So it might have been a coincidence, and don't flame me in the comments, but when I was sorting by, like, highest sales, Santa kept popping up. So there's a chance that just like Brock Purdy wasn't getting sold, but Santa seemed to be the highest value downtown. So could you imagine? Merry Christmas. Could you imagine though, Brody, if we actually pulled it downtown and we noticed and we're like, who was it? It's Santa. We would have just lost it. I I think we would have been pissed. (laughs) We would have known. We would have been so confused. We would have been like, what? So I don't think we would have thought that this was actually like a, but like the more you think about it, the more obscure the cards are. Actually, those are the ones that yeah. seem to be uh, the ones that people really want. Yeah, I mean, that's a sick card. You're, though. I mean, that's a sick card. You only have so many fans of certain teams and quarterbacks, but everybody's a fan of Santa. No one. I've never heard of anyone that doesn't like Santa. <laughs> exactly. So please comment down below if you knew Santa Downtown was a a thing. Okay, so here's a couple of things that we bought or got cards that we got and, and we sold them on eBay. And this is a good time to stop and say, sometimes we put out guesses of what we think we're going to get. This analysis is just going to cover actual sales that have happened because the time is, the time has passed. We've sold these cards and we have the number in. So here were three cards that we pulled. We got uh, Walter Jones to 71 sold for seven bucks. The rookies, Kenny Pickett, He's not that guy anymore. Nobody believes in Kenny Pickett Jeez. anymore. Three dollars twenty five cents, and then no name Kurt Warner. I thought it was going to do really good because Brock Purdy no name did well, but nope, that's just <laughs> Brock Purdy. Yeah, that's just the Brock Purdy. And it sold powder. for four dollars and twenty five cents. So, did you have Kurt Warner no name in, in the Bab? Did you think he was a Bab initially? Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was at least a fifteen twenty dollar card. Jeez, four twenty-five. Maybe someone got a steal. Hey, you yeah. gotta check our eBay. You never know when you can get a steal on our eBay store. Seems guys. like a Super Bowl MVP, Hall of Famer. All right, we got a normal Super nice guy. We just got a normal Purdy rookie, and look at this. It went off for us for sixteen dollars and fifty cents on a paper rookie. So, was really happy with this sale. One of the better Amazing. hits that we got. We are back. It sounds like Sage has headphones from the year twenty twenty-two. And uh, they do not like this system or something. So I don't know if you guys did end up hearing the deafening. I might I might keep it in once just so you can hear the deafening the deafening static noise. Uh, but it is fixed now, so we're gonna continue on here. Uh, sorry about that. And here we go. Do we need to clap? No, no. Okay. Well, sure, I'll clap. <laughs> People love claps. There we go. People okay. love the claps. Okay. When we got Dan Hampton, I had never heard of him. So I don't know if you have or still have int. But mm-hmm. anyways, I have heard of a Bears Hall of Famer, Dick Buckus, and that's who mm-hmm. I wish we would have gotten. 13 bucks <laughs> for this thick boy. Not too impressive. We haven't been too lucky on these like Canton King ones. Yeah, like we've had the 49ers one didn't sell for a crazy amount. Like it's I don't think we've hit some of the, I mean pe- I get it. It's a hall of famer. So like the fans of these guys are going to come out in herds and like come after our necks. That's what I was going to say. Is they the need end- to clearly be more strict on who they let into the hall of fame because there's a bunch of scrubs <laughs> in the hall of fame. No, no, they're not scrubs, but it, it, it's, it, there is a difference between, you know, if, if we're, if we want a hall of famer, certain cards are going to sell more than others. It's just the yeah. name of the, the, the nature of the beast. Yeah. So, but here's the problem. Bears fans, you can attack me if you want to, but they've never had a good quarterback in the history of their franchise. So <laughs> they don't even have like a quarterback we could have gotten. So our best option for the bears <laughs> hall of famer was legitimately a center. Dick, but no, I, yeah, no, I think you're, I think you're forgetting a really good running back. One of the greatest running backs of all time. Well, definitely no quarterback. Well, who's the running back? I'm forgetting. Walter Payton. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was great. I I think I would want a Walter Payton autograph or something for sure. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Walter. And also, I am kind of somewhat a Bears fan. I was born in Chicago. I mean, I only lived there for a little bit of my life, but yeah, 
I guess I, guess I, I have respect to Chicago Bears. All right. Well, they've never had a quarterback in the hundred years they've been around. If that's wrong, put the put well. The no, they've had there. they've had a lot of quarterbacks. Yes. They've had a lot of quarterbacks. They never had maybe a Hall more of than anyone else. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe. Slash. I did get his nickname Cordell. right. And uh, what I was telling you is his nickname is Slash because he was QB slash running back slash wide receiver. Uh, he played all the positions. So, anyways, he was really the first true running quarterback. And uh, I was shocked with it going for forty six dollars. So that was pretty sweet autograph. Is that a fifty? Too? Yeah, I love that. So, moving on. Here's the summary. Here's the last slide. 289 out the door, one fun video, no Santa Claus. You can do the math here, 46 slash. I added $20 for the bulk. I put a little curse behind it because you get a lot of bulk, but um, you know, it's hard to sell and and it's hard to sort and it's a little bit of a curse, but you know, the people in the comments before have said, you got to add in the bulk. So I just rounded it to 20 bucks, feels fair. And for $110 back, 62% loss, which kind of makes sense because the guy we're really chasing besides downtown is a Purdy. We did get a Purdy, but we didn't get like a big Purdy. There's a lot of different Purdies here, numbered Purdies, different things. I think even yeah. autograph Purdy. But I, I, the thing, my big issue with this product was like there just wasn't a lot of like cards you could get yeah right like if you look these, at it we got a couple these were we got really a couple the numbered quarterbacks in this in the rookies here like kenny pickett desmond ritter zappy zappy sam Howell. oh i'm just talking about like numbered cards and like other than base cards like yeah. we got we had one mem we had one auto and then we had um you know uh, one rookie uh base from purdy and then we had like I don't Walter we just didn't really have one no real numbered cards yeah you're right yeah there wasn't just there wasn't that there weren't really any inserts that were super desirable it just seemed like uh, I don't know maybe I'm wrong but it just seemed like this product was kind of a stinker and the only reason that it has such a high price tag has to just be the Purdy craze yeah that it, that has to be it that you can pull a sick Purdy out of here for thousands of dollars and. And it honestly kind of feels a little bit like what we're dealing with now in football, where it's like it's CJ Stroud pretty much. Now, granted, there are a couple other guys, but a lot of these products gain jacked up so high because of Stroud, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and you have a couple of you have a couple of other candidates that partner along with CJ Stroud. However, we're now a year removed, and when this was opened earlier, Kenny Pickett was like a big deal. Mm-hmm. So people will start to be eliminated slowly. Hopefully AR is not yeah. eliminated and hopefully Richardson stays strong, but like, you know, we still have three or four other quarterbacks that will soon be eliminated in about a year. Yeah. yeah we'll have to go back and uh, we'll have to go back and do 2023 20, uh, again. Yes. Like that would be fun. Is like, cause right now a lot of the product we're opening is obviously stuff that we're opening for the very first time. Yep. So, It'll be fun to be like, oh, we're opening up 2023 yeah. again, yeah. you know, three, four, and, five years later. Don't forget, but the number one pick of the draft was Bryce Young, too. And he's in that class, mm-hmm. too. And the number two pick was C.J. Stroud, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so there's a two. lot of people still have faith in Bryce Young. Yes, yes. Not really. Not really me. But, you know, maybe he'll prove me wrong. I'm open to being wrong. Yeah, you I've been wrong. A put him on a different team. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, Who but that knows? was a fun chase for the downtown. We didn't get it, and we lost two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars each. <laughs> but we had fun. Yeah, we were lighting money on fire over okay. here, folks. So uh, if you enjoy these financial breakdowns, definitely make sure you like the video down below. That helps us not light as much money on fire. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, definitely hit the su- subscribe button. It's completely free. Drop a comment as well. We appreciate all your support, and we will be back for another financial breakdown soon to see just how much money we lost doing this series. And become a member until too, next time. That helps as well. Become a member. <laughs> until next time, keep ripping them backs. <laughs>